Now, if many of us have played through the winter update, we've got through the holiday season, so now what is there really to look forward to for Halo Infinite? Well, we do have a December drop pod that's been confirmed, and I wanted to go over what to expect with this drop pod. We're talking forge fixes, cross-core customization, weapon jamming fixes, and just maybe the servers will finally get fixed up. I talk about that and a whole lot more in this video, so stay tuned throughout the whole thing to understand all the details. But before I tell you what's gonna go on with Halo for the next month, you guys got to check out Hex Gaming. The Hex Gaming are basically a company that modifies the real deal controllers for PlayStation or Xbox and they make it into whatever you'd like. You can choose a decal, your colors on the joysticks, like literally every aspect of the controller you can decide what you want to look like to have your ultimate gaming experience. The controller that they sent me is the Ultra X controller. Now the really cool thing about this, it has these paddles on the back, right? As you would expect any good controller to have. The thing is though, you can have six different profiles you can remap these panels to. And it's all color coded on the back. So all you need to do is just double tap the button, change the color profile, completely different remapping for those back buttons. And since this is a high-end gaming controller, you also have the concave or convex sticks you can have in your controller. And you can also have the long or short versions. Personally, I like the long version right there on my right stick. It gives me a little bit extra travel distance so I can have a little bit higher sensitivity. You can even adjust the triggers on it. My triggers on this are like basically pressing a button. It's not even like a trigger pull anymore. And I love that. So if you guys want to check out Hex Gaming yourself, well, check out the pinned comment here, here in the video or in the description to get yourself 5% off when you use my code KevinCoolX at checkout. Plus I get a little kickback and help support the channel. But let's get right back into those details. So with this reply from Unishank at least we know some things are going on with the December drop pod that's coming for us guys. As you do know there's quite a bit of customization that's been locked that we haven't been able to get to like the Requiem Revenge Stance, Active Genesis Stance, the Infinity Ship Weapon Charm and Banished Deception Wasp Coating and a whole lot more through co-op. Well, Unishrek did say that these all should be available when it comes to a drop, drop pod coming in before the end of the year. So that's fantastic. But there was most likely going to be other things tied with this drop pod as well. But at least my hopes would be. But some things I obviously got to talk about here because I know we're all very much excited about cross-core customization. That's why I know what you guys really want to hear about. Last bit of information we heard about cross-core customization coming into Halo Infinite was this leak from Sarajah saying cross-core customization partially coming in for the equipment either season three or later, but not everything will fit. And he goes on to continue on saying, so we get a little more in depth detail about what we're talking about here, saying that basically not all bits of equipment or attachments do you have for like you say your torso, your hip, your helmet, your wrists and things like that don't exactly always just work one-to-one, -one, even between like the Mark 7 and the Reach coatings and stuff like that. Uh, so I wouldn't expect to see much in the way it comes to this. I obviously, was, if once we get more information about cross-core customization, because I know you guys love to know as much as possible when it comes to that stuff. Once we do get some more information, you know I'll share it with you guys here on the channel. My expectation is that we probably won't really get to have much more cross-core when it comes to this December update. Hopefully we will. We'll have to wait and see what happens. I'm sure we will hear some news very soon as 343 generally goes on their like winter break for our last like week or two of December and kind of filters back in in January. But it's going to be a bit of like a send off to the community and then they're going to be kind of, you know, being quiet for the next like about a month really. So well, sh we should hear something pretty soon about this. We have seen some images of bots getting cross core customization with helmets. As you can see a Mark 7 helmet with the Mark 5 body here. Another example of the Mark 7 helmet with the Mark 5 body. I mean, does look pretty good. And the Mark 7 helmet with the Yoroi body. Now it is unclear if this is some kind of bug. 343 hasn't really addressed this at all. Though it does seem like maybe something in the back end is kind of happening to where we can get that cross guard customization happen or at least gain some extra bits that we haven't really had a chance before. As previously, we did see bots within Halo Infinite kind of getting early access to a lot of customization that us players haven't really had a chance to. So to me, this says that something is happening in the back end to possibly get cross core helmets coming in, but you know, nothing's been confirmed yet. But as soon as we do get that information, guys, I'll share it with you all here on the channel. Now with Trigger Dead Zones back in Halo Infinite, guys, it seems like the weapon jamming issue is also back in Halo Infinite. Or in here, pro player showcases how when he shoots the plasma pistol, for example, that it just doesn't really line up one to one to how he's shooting. He does say he also has this experience with the battle rifle. I haven't experienced it personally, but he is showcasing how like when he's spamming the trigger, when it comes to the plasma pistol, it doesn't work as intended. Obviously last time we saw this issue come up was the season two update with the battle rifle and that was quickly turned around with an update just saying they just removed trigger dead zone. So 
I can see that happening again while they figure out what's going on with the trigger dead zones and all that kind of stuff. Which is such an odd feature. Has anyone ever requested trigger dead zones? I mean, I haven't really felt the need for that anyways. I mean, definitely with controller dead zones, absolutely when it comes to stick drift and things like that. But is there like trigger drift in a way or something? I don't know, it seems like 343 really wants this feature in the game, but it seems like every time they implement it, something funky happens. So don't be surprised if you're fine tuning your trigger dead zones at, with the December update coming around here very soon, that would probably see that feature go away again. Now an issue that has been plaguing Halo Infinite since the summer, which is the server issues with the crazy ping fluctuations and packet loss, you can see right here, that a pro player snake by kind of talks about saying like hey these great updates for one drop day are fantastic but if the game is still kind of busted kind of like it is right now when it comes to the servers it's just going to be you know unplayable again it's kind of deterred me from playing online matches for sure and then unishek community manager here reached out to him and said that they have been able to repo the issue right now which means that they were able to find out what's going on with the servers and they just needed to gather a bit more data before making any kind of changes so then this doesn't happen again which makes me think that okay this happened back in october 31st when this was acknowledged and they were able to repo the issue with the servers so this makes me think with the december update you have a full two months of internal testing of finding out what the issue is and being able to replicate it and then test it some more that we could see with this winter update that the servers might actually start functioning properly without have these crazy ping fluctuations that we've been dealing for half a year now at this point and if you don't know what i'm talking about Pro player Lucid showcases it perfectly right here. Can anybody please clip the start of this game with the packet loss and constant ping fluctuations for the past like minute or two? You gotta reset the servers or some shit. Need to need to get something out. And lastly, with this drop pod, we could expect to see some changes coming to the Forge mode. As we do know, it just recently released in beta. It's been actually giving us some content to actually do some things in Halo, which has been really fun. But one thing that's been having an issue with me personally, I think a lot of people also have been experiencing this, is that when you bookmark something on the website, it doesn't exactly happen in the game. I recently talked about this in a video. And right now, say I want to play Castle Wars. I'll go under book my bookmarks right here, wait for the map to load up. And obviously, I don't I have seven pages of stuff I want to scroll through here. I mean, I can just like go each individual page and kind of find it. But if I type in like, say, Castle, it doesn't actually sort anything. If I put in like in like name and descending, castle doesn't show up at all. So like searching keywords for me just doesn't work at all. And even organizing it by name, like A to Z, it doesn't actually organize things A to Z for me. It just slow pretty much keeps it random for the most part. So let's just pick a map like Monitor 2 High Rise right here. And so then if I go to mode right here and I go to my bookmarks and type in say any one of these modes right here. Say if I want to play Husky Raid on this map, right? Uh, if I select it, it doesn't work because it doesn't have the icon it has like this default icon here so it doesn't load in properly so what i need to do then is back out to the community page go under what say modes right here and then if i type in husky into the chat right here then i can actually go in unbookmark it which then says saving bookmark for whatever reason up here in the upper right hand corner and then I'll actually have to check it again, which then it, it's like some weird desync thing that happens when it comes to Halo Infinite's uh, custom game modes and stuff like that. So it's really weird. So now if I go into the mode editor, go into my bookmarks, then I also, then I basically have to do, since the keyword search doesn't actually work, I have to kind of scroll through and look for one that does have a icon on it like this right here for this game mode. Then I can actually select it. It's really annoying. And I really hope something like this gets fixed. Most of the times I'm selecting links based off of what I'm seeing from Halo Waypoint or on Twitter. I'll bookmark it from the Waypoint website, but then I go to play it in game and it doesn't work. So right now I highly suggest if you're gonna bookmark anything, do it in game or do this workaround that I've been using within my custom game nights. A couple weeks ago on Reddit here, a player said that you'll be kicked from four to the inactivity as it is an always online kind of experience. And he lost his entire map forging, which is not supposed to happen at all. The lead of forge, Michael Score, said this. Saying, hey y'all, here's an update on the saving issues and idle disconnects some of you are experiencing. We hope these guidelines and improvements help you dive into forge. Please remember to have fun, save often, and keep the feedback coming. Also provided this image right here saying if the session crashes, the player gets disconnected due to inactivity as well, or the session is closed abnormally, we have 
to create an autosave right there, but sometimes there's a bug where it doesn't allow it to happen. So that's a very important thing. I think we could see that get fixed out. It could be a first time actually seeing any kind of bug fixes when it comes to Forge, because there definitely are its issues. And they're uh, one of them I've been coming across a lot of times. I've seen some Forgers talk about it online or textures not working properly or something like that. So either something with the Forge mapping themselves when it comes to uh, texturing things or the way the Forge just works just in general. Because sometimes they'll pop in on a game and then like these be bright white, like white textures that are just like blinding you and it's kind of tough to actually just play the game because you just can't see but like i said throughout this video guys as soon as we get closer and closer to that date of when we could hear some more information about this december drop pod i'll let you guys know here on the channel so now you're probably thinking okay kevin so when can we expect this drop pod to finally come around well i think we have a little bit of a hint from 343 when it comes to their playlist schedule that they recently shared with us here showcasing different playlists coming in for the month of december and we see that the winter contingency is coming in on december 20th i'm assuming that this date will be kind of like a bon voyage for the year kind of thing as we further most likely will go on their winter break as they do every year when it comes to halo and so I could see that this dropping on the 20th of December, we could see this happen. Of course, it could happen a little bit sooner, but it either would be in on December 6th, 13th, 20th, or maybe even the 27th. I highly doubt the 27th just because it'd be the day, you know, a couple days after Christmas and then you have the New Year's Day after that. I'm pretty sure this whole week, not a whole lot's going to be fixed up or changed just to make sure maintenance is running properly. So I'm, I'm kind of eyeing down this uh, December 20th update. It's such a typical rotation when you do receive weekly updates for Halo Infinite. But of course, once we get that concrete details, I'll share it with you guys here on the channel. But since we've had a few weeks to dive into the winter update, guys, I finally gave my final thoughts and report card, if you will, on the winter update. If you guys want to check out that video, it's right here. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.